I'm a senior software engineer with more than six years of experience in various areas, from backend with .NET to frontend with Flutter to even game development with Unity. I guess as a senior developer, you could be quite good at a lot of things. And today I want to share with you five apps that I use every day to increase my productivity. Some of them you may know, but others you just will not expect. And please be sure to comment and share what kind of apps do you use on a daily basis. All right, so the first one on the list is going to be a surprising one. It's a simple, plain old, notes app on my macbook and on windows i just use a notepad and yes i do use both operating systems in fact actually linux as well but my heart is with mac os but anyway so why do i use this app isn't this like the most simple app in the world exactly and that's the primary reason why i use it all i want to have is just a digital piece of paper in front of me that i can use for me it's highly important to have all the important things in one place if i hear something important during a meeting i need to write it down if i prepare my status for the daily stand-up, I do it in the notes app. If I have new ideas or questions about the project or potential improvements, I will write them down there. I write a lot in general and this is a handy tool for spontaneous ideas or for quick notes. All right, the next one is going to be the IDEs that I use. So what's the greatest ultimate IDE that I use all the time? Well, there are actually quite a few of them. I always have this battle between lightweight IDEs like VS Code or fully packed ones like JetBrains Rider. But at the end of the day, I still use both types. It always depends on what type of project I'm working on. If I'm building a Flutter application, VS Code is a perfect option. But if I'm working with .NET, then Visual Studio is definitely the way to go. But this doesn't mean that I don't have my favorites. VS Code absolutely dominates the lightweight IDE category. There's just no alternative or better competitor. However, with fully packed IDEs, I just love JetBrains. Rider, PyCharm, IntelliJ, just to name a few. They pack in a lot of functionality, seamless development, and a very beautiful design. But most importantly for me, cross-platform support. And this is something that I appreciate a lot, that all the functionality stays the same everywhere. All right, next up, we have the Reminders app. And even though I use it the least amount of time, it has the biggest impact on my life. And I would really advise everyone to start using it and make it a habit. And here's how I use it. Before I go to sleep, I write down all the tasks that I need to complete for tomorrow. And I follow two very important rules, so make sure to listen. I never put more stuff than I can actually accomplish within a given day. In fact, I put less so that I have some room to finish up something if it takes longer. And I always pick the task of the day, which is the most important task that I need to make sure that I complete. As long as I complete this task, it's okay to not finish the rest. But the best part about it is that practically most of the time I do finish the rest. And yeah, I use this app practically for anything, for work, for personal life, for many other things. It is really a game changer once you start to use it on a daily basis. So that's why I recommend it. It brings structure to your day, prioritizes your work, but most importantly, gives you that satisfaction. And this in itself has a huge impact on productivity. Notion is another app that I use a lot. It's really the same thing like a notepad or notes app, but it has organizational tools. It's very interesting how Notion became such a popular app because usually when you wanna create something new, you wanna do one thing good, but this is the complete opposite. The developers were able to create a tool where you can do practically everything that you want all in one place. And that is exactly what I enjoyed the most. I manage Kanban boards for work, I create tables for my YouTube videos, I write a personal journal there, and do many other things. And I'm not gonna lie, but developers did a quite an amazing job when it comes to user experience and the design. I just enjoy doing things in Notion. And lastly, you knew this was coming, I use ChatGPT. And aside from using the Plus version that I pay for myself, I also use a corporate version provided to me by my company. Well, I mean the company where I work at. What is great about the corporate version of ChatGPT is that it is confidential, meaning that no private information will go outside of company's perimeter. So it's a good idea to check if your company has this. I've started to use ChatGPT as soon as it came out and to me at that point it felt like I've discovered a cheat code for life. The amount of time it saves me is insane. As a rough estimate I could save anywhere from 2 to 10 times the amount of time and in some cases even more. And now that ChatGPT continues to update its knowledge base, introduce new functionality, it becomes better and better. If you're a programmer and you're not using ChatGPT, you're missing out big time. But if you are using 
using ChatGPT, be sure to use it correctly and when necessary, double check your answers because it does provide you with inaccurate information from time to time. And don't worry, this comes with experience, so be sure to practice. And that's it. These are the apps that I use on a daily basis for my productivity. And like I've said, be sure to share what you use. It would be quite interesting to compare. Have a good day and see you.